another how-to video taking a look at a idea we came up with a while back um, we use a lot of ammunition cans or these spam cans uh, these sort of large tuna cans that you get surplus ammunition in from the Russia and Bulgaria and wherever and uh, you sort of cut out the top like a tuna can or like a spam can and when you're done shooting the ammo you're left with a nice metal one-piece uh, container and I like to use them as drawers in like a metal shelving or it's really easy to make some wooden shelves for these type of cans, especially if you have a lot of them. Um, so what happens though is you get these kind of drawers or you get these um, uh, metal uh, ammunition cans and you know maybe you find a good deal on 9mm ammunition and you use it for a while. Uh, then you, it's empty and then you go through nine, uh, some 45 ACP or something. So anyway, if you're like me, you use these cans over and over again. And we used to maybe write something in marker on them or write something on a piece of sticker and then write it and then stick it on. But at some point you find out that, uh, you know, you leave the residue behind or you, the can starts just getting real messy looking. It's hard to remember what's in them. So at some point I came up with the idea of using one of these label makers. Uh, you write something in, for example, I got 762 by 39 there. You press the print button and uh, it's going to print a label for us. And as it comes out of here when it's done you just push the cut and there's smaller and better print label makers I'm sure by now but what you get is your your label and you take one of these refrigerator magnets that you get for free and it's there's nothing to it you see where I'm going you just take the uh, sticker peel the back off tape it to the front of your refrigerator magnet and I'm doing this kind of sloppy here but you get the idea uh, you tape it on there Take a pair of scissors, trim, and these soft refrigerator magnets are easy enough to cut with a pair of scissors. And there you go, you've got a label that's magnetic on the back. Didn't cost very much at all. Fits, or it's going to uh, stick to any ammo can, uh, any of these spam type cans. And it's handy because now you can, it's going to stick for sure. You can put one each side. Um, but if when you change something out, you can just take it and I put it, I have mine in. Uh, I just keep these on the metal shelves when I'm not using them, and then whatever I'm going to be using, I can just swap it out. Um, some other ideas, using the older type of label maker, uh, you can do it that way for sure, uh, where you get the raised lettering, the raised lettering, and uh, again, you just stick it to the magnet, trim it out, and you've got, uh, again, a very flexible one, and the black doesn't show up quite as well, but some in other uses, it works actually better to have the black backing. Now, on these label makers, you can get, like I say, these are, I think this one was $35 a few years ago. They're probably a lot cheaper now, probably a lot smaller. This one uses six AA batteries, so it's sort of a battery hog, and there's no plug-in for power, which is kind of weird. But anyway, um, you can get different color ribbon, uh, different color printing, too. So that may be another way to help organize what your ammunition is. Use yellow labels for rifle and orange labels for handguns or whatever. Uh, again, if you've got two different types of ammo in a can, put two different magnets on there, no problem. Um, something else that we ended up using these for on one of these um, uh, whiteboards. This is a magnetic whiteboard, so it's basically the porcelain or whatever coating on a piece of metal. These also work, so we don't have to use the dry erase markers all the time. Um, we're able to use just these magnetic labels. They look a lot nicer and they're reusable. And again, uh, depending on the application, when we're doing some of the you know, business stuff, we can easily keep track of what projects are where and who's got them and obviously names, events. It's real easy to keep track of things with these type of um, label, magnetic labels. They're real inexpensive. You can get these refrigerator magnets just about anywhere, of course. Um, you just pick up a few. We get some that were printed incorrectly from a local school, so we got them basically surplus for almost nothing. Um, another option is to use a label maker on a computer. And we didn't spend a lot of time on this. You can see the font's kind of junky and they're kind of small. But for a dollar, you can get, at least at our dollar store, for a dollar, I got uh, 10 pages, so that's 300 labels. Uh, I just go into my Word. Microsoft Word and open it up and tell it that I want a, a three quarter inch by two and a quarter inch label and it knows what to do and it prints it right in the center of the label and again I just took the label stuck it onto a magnet trimmed it out and again I should, probably should spend a little more time but I think the benefit of using a computer over a label maker might be that we could have some an image here or 
you know, just a lot more variety of fonts, uh, sizes and whatnot. So again, uh, hopefully a, a good idea for people, a quick idea to make a magnetic label that can be reusable and really costs very little to produce. All you really are going to need is some sort of a label maker or uh, printed or just written on a sticky material, some free magnets, the scissors, and a little time.